Hello dear friends, this is Moment of Harmony with Professor Lipis Bersanuf. Yes, we are here with you today to study another message that he brought to us in a book that is coming about in English, Lipitis or Espiritu e Compromiso. This book has messages that are unprecedented by the medium Corina Novellino. If you want to know more about Corina Novellino, let me show you a picture of her so you have an idea about who she is. A spirit of that worked side by side with him when he was alive and later became the medium and the one with others who kept the legacy of Euripides Barsanufo. And her picture is here. She was good friends with Chico Xavier, and he actually vouched for the messages that we are reading to you. Corina Novellino, also a medium, wrote other books in which Emmanuel wrote the prefaces through Chico Xavier. So there's a lot that happened that people are not acquainted, and it's amazing because today, March 8th is the day we celebrate the International Day of Women. And many people are like, ah, why do we need it? We already appreciate women. No, we don't. On the earth, we're yet to respect women. And I don't see, say this only because I am in the body of a woman, but because I know uh, in this world, we're still to respect and Jim Carter, one of the ex-presidents of the United States, in a recent TED talk, mentioned that the, the ultimate frontier of human rights on the earth is to respect women, women's rights, equality. We're not there yet, but we do need it. The rights are the same, the roles are different. But we, meanwhile, today we celebrate the feminine, above anything. The feminine in the men and in women, in the spirit, in everything, and in everyone. It's the, the psyche, our feminine within. What is it? Intuition. Mm -hmm. It's about the right side of the brain. It's about nurturing. It's about compassion, kindness, gentleness. And it's about life. So in you and I, in all of us, we have that feminine and we need to celebrate it. Okay? Celebrate it. Plus, we can't forget that Professor Lipides Barsonufo had a particular relationship with the spirit of Mother Mary. So today, we bow our heads to her, to her. She's the back of the cover of this book. He's at the front, she's at the back. Mother Mary, Mother Mary, the one, in her sweetness, kindness, and the ultimate expression of the feminine, the true resignation, the true surrender to God, even though we may, name, or we may not know. There's no pain we will ever feel in this life that will come this close to her pain. And you may be asking why? Because as a mother, right Raquel? As a mother, right? Being a mother of four, as a mother, Mother Mary experienced the martyrdom of a loving son. Why? She didn't know. But she went through the hardship. She didn't go insane, which is amazing. She didn't become rebellious or even depressed, which is quite extraordinary. And this is a parenthesis for us. Be careful, friends. We are living at a time on the earth when people are easily surrendering to anger, to rebelliousness, 
As Martin Luther King Jr. said, we don't drive out evil with evil words and actions. That's why we recently were asked by the spirits that mentor Kardec Radio to talk about elements of harmony. And today, Professor Rivitz Barsanofu in his message, how pertaining, is going to tell us about constructive elements. Shall we, friends? Let us listen to this medium of Jesus, medium of Mother Mary, who comes to us in his sweetness and determination. What a beautiful balance. No wonder Chico Xavier said he was the most complete spiritist medium who ever existed. Perfect balance. The masculine and the best, the feminine, of course, in the relativity of life. The perfect of all is Jesus. But as a medium of Jesus, he was complete. Okay? So let us say this. Brothers and sisters, he said, may the Master's blessing fall upon your hearts. The development of the constructive elements of your mind is one of the most imperious necessities of your spirit. The utilization of the opportunities of service this is the immediate duty of the individuals who dream of the happiness of a better life. Free from the storms of all kinds, which humankind, which is in humankind a condition of its inferiority. The luminous reach of the work of the Master Alan Kardec is the most powerful vehicle that will trigger the lever of the spiritual progress of earthly humanity. If you could conceive of the miraculous power of pain in the healing of moral wounds, then you would have to be more careful in making the most of this great vehicle of spiritual recovery. The human individual has shown eternal allergy to pain. This is understood to some extent in minds that have not been called, been clarified in the true sense of life. But in regards to spiritists, such rebelliousness, such ignorance regarding Pain constitutes irreparable mistake. Let us seek the harmonious tuning of the practical work of the saving concepts of the, of the work codified by the Master Alan Kardec. Let us correspond to the effort of the one who had exhausted himself in the laborious and relentless work of the coordination of the teachings of the spirits, aiming at only the luminous script of the humanity, millennially mined by processes of physical and moral degradation. While there is time, correct the sinuous position of the thoughts that build nothing. Elevate your words and your deeds to the highest level, seeking harmony and peace. Put your own interest at the same level as the neighbors. Seek the completion of the lessons set forth in the Gospels. This is the sure path to redemption, along with the relative understanding of the reasons of human pains and struggles. May Jesus help us. Professor Livitz Barsanufo, he wrote this message through the medium Corina Novellino on April 18th, 1955. April 18th, 
1955, almost a hundred years after the publishing of the Spirit Book. I mean, a hundred years later, right? Almost a hundred years later. So, friends, for us, this message is very complex, but it's calling us to harmonize ourselves. Are you surprised? Yes. Are you surprised? Yeah. Professor Lipitz Barsanufo was very loyal to Kardec. And it's interesting because I see many spiritists and spiritist centers who do not follow Kardec's advice. And they say, well, but nowadays it's different. I don't think so. You know why? Go to the medium's book. He published the bylaws of the Spirit Society of Paris. Okay? And he says, this is not a rule set in stone, but it's a model for anyone who wants to build a spiritist organization. We need to make it easy for the spirit guides. If we are coordinating a spiritist center, participating in, in a spiritist center, we need to be truly reverent to the body of spirits who are coordinating these works. We can no longer play games of the ego. We need to be easy on the hands of the good spirits. Easy. The last thing we should be worried about is money, opinions. When the whole team enters the center, the first thing we say is, excuse me, Jesus, here we come, respecting the spirits who are there already, the higher spirits, the mentors. Each and every person in the team that is working in the Spiritist Center needs to have that reverence. I enter the Spiritist Center and no longer it's Panessa. I am at service. And everybody is. And we're here to serve. Forget about our inner needs. Some people, they think it's like a business. Oh, tell me a, a, a year in advance when I'm going to give a talk. So I prepare myself. Said, it doesn't work that way. Not in the Spiritist Center. If the spirits call you today to give a talk, you better be prepared. Even though you didn't know. Why? Because they think you are prepared. So you better go and say, okay, I will fulfill it. If they say, please come and do this. Okay, I don't know how, but I'll, I trust that the loving spirits know. And I'm, I'm saying this in an extreme of circumstances, okay? But it may happen. And the reverse may happen. Sometimes we have everything outlined and exceptions happen. But sometimes the good spirits need to change the schedule. They need to change the topic that is going to be discussed. It happens. And people are like, but I prepared myself. I understand, but we need to be flexible. The work is not ours. I'm not saying this should go on in a daily or weekly basis. No, no, no. But sometimes it happens. It may be changed. So we need to surrender to the good spirits. And how do you, you may be asked, Profanis, how do I surrender if I'm not a medium? Or even if I'm a medium? Well, each spirit center has one president, only one, okay? Not two, three, four, one. This story that I've been listening in several spirit centers in the United States, which is a big attack of the forces of darkness, telling people that we can coordinate a center as a group. It doesn't exist. According to Kardec and to since Chico Xavier's time and the 
serious spiritist centers, there is always a, a president and a body of directors who are responsible for each and every role, coordinating, orchestrating. In an orchestra, there is one conductor, not two, three, four. One conductor and the instruments. Andrea Lewis in the literature tells us clear cut how important it is to organize ourselves in a spiritist center, respecting that one body has one head. And I'm seeing several spiritist centers in the U.S., at least in the U.S., that are incurring in that big mistake. Democracy does not exist in the spiritist literature, okay? Alexander is saying, but people don't want to take responsibility. I understand, so they step aside, but there must be somebody who does. And we need to step forward, right, Alexandra? And even if for a little while we have to cover all bases, we do it. Like Chico Xavier did. Like Kardec himself. Kardec had to do the whole work by himself. He didn't count on 10,000 hands besides the mediums, right, Alexandra? So you're right. People don't want to take responsibility. So they step aside and allow others who want to take responsibility to do it. So tonight, this message is about the constructive elements. Let me go back to certain highlights here that Euripides Barsanufo is reminding us. The development, that's how he starts, the development of constructive elements of your mind is something that is vital for your spirit, for us. And he says, development, like a child, we need to mold. That's what we need to do. Exercise. This morning, we stop. And, and forgive him for giving this example, but as a mother, I see this as something that can give us a reference. I was stopping by at a particular place, and Virginia said, and mom, why does your jean, why is your jean white? You know, the walls outside of the gym because hers are like red brick. And they said, I don't know, but isn't white beautiful too? Let us think of a beautiful thought. White, white, shall we? And then she said, I love mommy. You know, we're practicing, as funny as it sounds, but we're practicing what Emmanuel said in the book, Thought in Life, and Euripides Barsanufo is telling us. By the way, Euripides Barsanufo wrote this message before Emmanuel wrote the book, Thought in Light. Okay? Just so we see how these spirits are working together, one team, with Christ. Different locations, but together. The development of this constructive element of our minds. So we need to do exactly what we're doing with Virginia. Let's think of a beautiful thought. Right now I say, oh, I don't like this food. I would say, thank God I have this food on my plate. Such a beautiful color. It must taste unique. Huh? And then we transform it. Seeking the good. That's what he's saying. To develop those constructive elements. Okay. So in our life, we have two pathways. Constructive mental currents or destructive mental currents, says Andrea Lewis in the book Mechanisms of Mediumship. It's up to us what to decide. You can choose, I can choose. Choose the good. Oh, I'm feeling skeptical. It's good to put names to your feelings. Name it so we can tame it, okay?
a good exercise we did on Sunday and this you can do this exercise in the next 24 hours okay with a friend a family member sit in a circle or if you are in pairs okay and uh, pick two emotions one emotion that is positive and or light and one that is negative or difficult heavy each one of you and create a story using those emotions the moment we start naming emotions we start being more they are more accessible and we can manage them we need to exercise it and that's how we develop this constructive element of the mind by visualizing them by seeking them feeling them visualizing them molding them so for example Let's say I have a word. You can tell me a word if you want right now so we can play here together, okay? Together. But let me say a word as he's saying here. Harmony. Harmony and anger. I can start the story saying, one day there was a little girl who was walking in the street and she tripped, fell on the floor. She not only felt sad, but angry. Angry because people start laughing. And then somebody approached her mom and her dad and kindly held her and explained that it was okay. That life is about a series of bumps and falls and it doesn't matter if others laugh about it or about us. What is important is that we take care of our body and bring it back to harmony. And Lusa Boya kindly shared here another, another one. And then Lusa Boya, I'm just going to be your medium, okay, Lou? And then the little girl felt joy again. Okay, that's it. And you can go on and on, you know in a circle of people and in this way it seems like we're doing nothing but we're learning how to manage emotions they they are at our reach no longer mysterious all right he's telling us it's vital for us as spirits to develop constructive elements to develop the constructive elements of our mind. What are the constructive elements of your mind? Hope. The virtues. Mm -hmm. Beautiful thoughts. He says, the utilization of the opportunities of service. Now he's going to give us the pathway to do this development. Serving. This is the immediate duty of the individuals who dream of the happiness of a better life. Free of storms. Opportunity to serve. Right, so you can do that with Luana. I think, remember, when we were there, you, she's going to love it. And you're going to love it too. There's a dictionary of emotions we showed here before. If you go to Amazon.com, you can search. There are so many dictionaries and emotion cards you can use. I like the onion hat set because it's very comprehensive, but there are so many nowadays. And one thing we would say, Professor Edith Bersanuf is saying, to develop those constructive elements, we need to serve. How? Shield your heart. Shield your heart, my friend, from the anger of others. Serve. Don't. Some people, when they get angry, they start joining forces with other people who are angry. Be careful. And in the spiritist movement, I've seen this happening. People are upset with somebody and they start teaming up. They are wrong. And they start creating plots and attacking. We, we're not here to attack anybody. We're not here to make justice. 
we're not here at all, at all, to fix anybody. And you may say, but Vanessa, people are doing wrong. That's their problem with God, not mine. You are not the justice maker here. Read the book, Liberation, and you see, if you enter that frequency of being the justice maker, you will be connecting with spirits that are like-minded, and they may be coming after you too. I'm not threatening anybody. But it says there in the book Liberation, Libertação, by Andre Lewis, through Chico Xavier. Don't go there. Mm -mm -mm. What do we do? Mind your business. What is your business? Let's mind our business. Joseph says, Mentor Joseph, focus always on those who are suffering. Always. Always. Think about the people who don't know anything, who are suffering and don't know a bit of what you know, and help them. If other people are making mistakes, pray for them, but do not team up in your family against anybody. Do not team up in your neighborhood against anybody. Do, you don't fight anything we should be positive pro pro everything that is good we're not gonna fight violence with violence ignorance with hatred mm -mm -mm. we need to do constructive pathway right so you're reading the book Liberation and you feel so blessed. I agree with you. Thank you for sharing. That book is phenomenal. And he says here, if we want to understand how to do this constructive mental current, he says, the luminous work of Kardec is the most powerful vehicle. But people have allergy to pain. I'm suffering. Oh my gosh, I don't have a green card. Many immigrants. Oh my gosh, it's so hard nowadays in the U.S. Mm -hmm. But nobody forced you to be here. Or if they did, it's just an appearance. And now you're in this condition. Or others. They have the paperwork, but they don't. They have problems in the marriage, or problems of drug addiction with their children, which is very common, or problems, financial problems, health-related problems. Anyone, there's nobody on the earth that has zero, zero issues. If you know somebody, present to me because we will find out. Because that's the nature of our planet. But how we deal with them is what Professor Ripitz Barsanov is talking about. So tonight, the greatest challenge of all is to give a new meaning to pain. He says, for us spiritists, I'm going to quote, he says, we cannot be rebellious to the reasons why we feel pain, to the reasons why we may feel affliction, affliction and instead of looking at affliction being afflicted we should listen to the master saying blessed are the afflicted and we don't focus on what he said blessed which by the way is chapter 5 of the gospel according to spiritism and the largest of all chapters in the gospel according to spiritism by Kardec why because that's what happens on the earth. And some people are like, I hate being sick. You're still going to be sick because hatred is not healthy. By hating the sickness, the disease, you're not helping. I hate this, that, and the other in my work. It doesn't work. 
And Alexandra is saying, instead of fighting pain, learn with it. Exactly. Straight to the point, Alexandra. Go straight to the point, friends. Let's go there. Learn with it. Let's ask. Stop for a moment. That's mindfulness. Bless. Feel the bless. The blessedness that is given to us. Because the spirits say, what is happening to you now is draining the vibratory disturbances out of yourself. Oh, I don't have enough money. Learn how to see money from a divine perspective. Read the book Money, by the way, through Emmanuel, through Chico Xavier. Dinheiro, there is a book. You can easily find it on PDF in Portuguese or you can buy the English version in the website of the United States Spiritist Federation. Which, by the way, I'll make a pause here and say this coming April 21st, come to Washington, D.C., huh? Shall we come here and celebrate? Look, the symposium, huh? April 21st in Washington, D.C. This is the first national spiritist meeting in the U.S. in the capital. Can you believe it? 2018, come, come. And if you want to win the um, hotel accommodations, Kardec Radio can pay you for two nights. Yeah, two winners, huh? two nights for each. All you need to do is do a video, a video on the event that we're gonna happen, that is gonna happen in July in DC, the first International Spiritist Youth Weekend. This information is in the Spiritist Magazine, okay? And you can read it for free also in your app, Spiritist Magazine. I'm opening this parenthesis because more than ever we need to join forces. Come to this event. Come, join us. Come visit Kardec Radio Studios too. Come here. We are right around the corner, okay? But we should feel the bless, the blessing of being called to terms with our disturbances. Don't curse yourself. Don't sentence yourself anymore because only God knows. When you make a mistake, instead of being afflicted, tell yourself, God, I am not going to sentence myself. Because I see spiritists who say, I know in the next reincarnation, I'm going to pay for this, that, and the other. So you're trying to be more than God. Because God didn't sentence you. You're already sentencing yourself. And there are many people who in this life are going through a lot of problems because in previous lives, they sentenced themselves. They created a mental program telling them, I'm never going to have money again because I misused it. And in this life, they don't have money. They're like... Why not? Why not? You need to go deep inside and erase it. Read Emmanuel's book, Money, and you will be friends with money. Because it, he, as he says, money is from God. He says even more. Chapter 9, if I'm not mistaken, scarcity and wealth are feelings. They are not something we have. So if you're feeling the abundance, it's your feeling. It's not a possession. There are many people whom I know, they have money. They feel poor. There are many people whom I know, they are financially very, you know, they are poor. But they feel rich. They feel wealthy. It's a feeling, Emmanuel says. We need to change that inside of us. And in previous lives, we probably sentenced ourselves. I'm never going to have a husband because 
Maybe I cheated on the husband. I'll never get married again. Please don't sentence yourself anymore in this life, shall we? In the next 24 hours, do not play your judge because that's not going to help. Allow God to lead the way. Say, God, I made a mistake. Please lead the way. Let me repair. Let me fix it. Okay? Thank you, soul. So you can go to the website and find the book. Finally, he says, let's seek the harmonious tuning of the work, of the saving concepts of the work that was produced by Alan Kardec. Let us correspond to the efforts of his. And he says, correct our sinuous, meaning fluctuating mental currents, the thoughts that build nothing. And that's why Louise Hay was right. She said, people came to her and said, but Louise, I do your affirmations and nothing works. But that's like a seed you plant and you need to keep cultivating. It doesn't happen at one thought. It's the law of the mental field. I will only attract what I emit, but I'm not that I emit one day. Kardec says, I need to emit my thoughts and feelings with intensity, mm -hmm. frequency, and intensity, will, and the quality, of course, will dictate the materialization of it. Things won't change in our lives. So if I see that there is discord around, who is bringing that discord? Self-sabotage sometimes is the answer. So that's why we sing. Oh God, I'm sabotaging myself. I love, put your hand in your heart chakra and say, I love and approve of myself in ways that are pleasing to God. I love and approve of myself in ways that are pleasing to God. Like parents, we often feel guilty. We look at our children like, oh my gosh, they are crying. They are depressed. What do I do? What if? And then we get anxious. Hold. In and out. Deep and slow, calm is, smile release, present moment, wonderful moment. And this is how Thich Nhat Hanh is inviting us to be mindful. And Jesus would say, don't be anxious. God is taking care of everything. Trust the divine nature in people, in your children especially, in yourself. Tell yourself, looking at yourself in the mirror, I am a child of God. I am a child of God. I don't know how, but I will bloom in ways that only God knows. And I won't create obstacles. I allow this light of God inside of me to blossom. Right? Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. This beautiful light of mine. I'm going to let it shine because who am I not to shine? Huh? Jesus said, shine. You are light. You need to let it shine. And Professor Euripides says, the medium of Jesus comes and says, elevate your words, shall we? Look at the words you're using, huh? And the deeds to the highest, seeking harmony. That's what we're doing here, aren't we? Seeking harmony. Put your own interests at the same level as the neighbors, the golden rule. Seek the completion of the lessons that were brought from the gospel. And that's our pathway. Friends, every day, at least once a day, one exercise, one more. You can pick one of the exercises, the homework, the hard work. As Kardec Creator for Kids always says, let's do the following. Huh? Let us take the 
next 24 hours and say a good word to others on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, to a friend, to yourself. And that's how we're going to be constructing new beautiful thoughts and staying there more often than not until one day we will let it shine consistently like the sun that is so consistent never let us down you're feeling the light yes and i'm gonna give you a hug elza leal and sol souza Giovanna souza dear alexandra Rihanna, Nico, and Felicia doing beautiful work for the children with our father in South Africa. Through Facebook, right? Yes, Lusa Boy, how are you? Our dear Paula de Matos, Ana from Alabama. Thank you, Ana. She's putting beautiful slides on these exercises that are helping us keep focused. João Bosco, my friend, how are you? Karina Lisi, beautiful work you are doing with Leia at Kardec Radio. Julija, my friend, how are you? And beautiful Queensland, Australia. Luciana Antoni, we missed you. Aline, how are you, my dear Aline? sunshine dedicating this beautiful to the facebook page to mother mary today thank you our beautiful Raquel murray who is doing also beautiful works at faith in children and kardec radio as well when you look at the youtube who is helping us bringing everything there huh thank you raquel lisa telis how are you angelita doing beautiful works with fraternity without borders Patricia Giri, also part of Kardec Radio's team. Thank you, Patricia, for the beautiful videos. Celia Lancaster, how are you? Teresa Catapano, beautiful hug. Rita de Cássia, how are you, Rita? Nina Dui, and the beautiful new group in Southampton, Virginia, am I right? Beautiful works. Teresa Castro, how are you, my friend? In Vermont, Katia, how are you? Narciso, how are you, Narciso, my friend? Adilson, always enlightening lives, Adilson. Dona Verducci, how are you? Raquel Bakeshi, our dear Andrea Torres, how are you? Lívia Moraes, helping us at Cardiac Radio as well. Mariana de Andrade, beautiful Leia Severo, how are you? And you know, Rudy is here. Let us be rich in Jesus. Well, that's a good proposal, right? So tonight, let us work on the development of our constructive elements in our minds. Shall we? Tomorrow when we come back. You want a teaser? I can give you a teaser. Of course I can. And let me give you the teaser for tomorrow, shall we? I? Yes, each day is a day. He says here to us, okay, he says to us, <clears throat> the sacred joys that envelop our spirits in perfect understanding of the illuminated teachings of the Divine Master. What is it that Professor Ibs Barsanoff is going to tell us? I don't know. Let us hope that we'll be back, shall we? And here we have, thank you, Saul, Alexander, and all of you friends. Let's come back tomorrow for more moment of harmony with Professor Ibis Barsanov. <laughs>